Another thing which comes into mind is like, am I expected to lead the negotiation? You are right. I have seen uh, cases as well where uh, uh, the cheap uh, vendor win, wins and, and not really value for money vendor. Uh, but again, who is expected to lead the negotiations? Uh, it's highly contextual. But as a project manager, I would uh, recommend that uh, the PM should not lead the negotiation. Um, sourcing, they have a team. They do this in and out um, every day. Uh, but you need to, as as you mentioned, Saket, you need to be aware that is sourcing focusing on value for money or is sourcing focusing on going for the cheapest option. Now, um, PM should definitely be part of the negotiation. Uh, you should be in the room, uh, but before the negotiation starts, you should have a good strategy along with your sourcing team and your legal team. Uh, normally, I work very closely with the legal team, so because there are certain clauses in the contract which has commercial impact, um, and therefore it's important that uh, and and of course the project manager, I also involve them uh, in the meeting if if and when needed. But there is one. Another aspect that the project manager should understand. Now, sourcing uh, do the negotiations. They do this almost every day. Negotiations are not easy. They are tough. You never know what is the right uh, stage to stop to, to create a win-win situation. Right? Now, sourcing, uh, let them be the bad cop. Uh, because sourcing is not going to be involved in most of the cases uh, involved in managing or owning the contract when it is signed. It is the project manager. You will have to deal with the vendor, whoever is selected. You will have to uh, build a good relationship. So do not start on a wrong footing. Do not start with a very aggressive uh, mindset, you know, because in, if you lead the negotiation and you know, you'll always create some sort of an impression about yourself and that might prevent you to create a healthy relationship.